in all of our testing of tech disc you all have had a question about one stat in particular wobble what is wobble well wobble is when a disc leaves your hand and it goes like this now this is not an issue that i think is worth most people addressing and going out of their way to fix. I've got some hypotheses that I would like to test about what causes it and what effect it has, but ultimately it doesn't matter if I think it's worth fixing if I have a student that really, really wants to work on something. I just have to help them reach their goal. And it just so happens that I have a student here in studio today that desperately wants to change his wobble. And I'm going to let him tell you why. If we haven't met yet, my name is Jesse. I run a company called Trash Panda. And as Josh mentioned, I throw with a lot of wobble. But for most people, they would want to fix that for their game. But for me, there's a unique kind of separate reason from my game. For us, every single disc is a world building opportunity. And there's a story we want to tell around it with everything from the packaging to the design of the disc to the marketing materials that go out with it. And all of that work, the storyboarding, the naming ideas, the shoot locations, the color grading, the editing, every single piece of it culminates in this one moment. And it looks like this. My hypothesis is that if it affects his flight at all, it's going to make the disc fly more stable. And my hypothesis is that if wobble goes down, then disc sales will go up. <laughs> now, we've got to see what in his form we believe is causing the wobble. No, turns out you don't. Let me tell you how the video was supposed to go from here. We were supposed to take a look at his form, see that he has this swoop that I already knew that he had. I mean, why wouldn't this cause wobble? So it starts really low, redirects high, and now he's got to get it moving back down again to have a flat throw. And then we're supposed to get it on a flat swing plane. And then boom, bada bing, bada boom, he's got less wobble. Watch this, baby swoop. <laughs> but it's still 3.5 didn't go that way. Here's what actually happened. There might be something additionally impacting it, right? But if- Let you, me know. Yeah, we're gonna find out. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> he left to go to some previously arranged festivities. Mikey and I spent the next hour and a half throwing hundreds of shots on tech disc trying to do everything we possibly could to lower wobble. He came back because we had dinner plans at the farm 2.0. And on the way up there, we found out that his wobble is perfectly normal within the range. We looked at all these pros and he's just got very middle of the road wobble, nothing Crazy, nothing spectacular. Then we play a little disc golf. Do it. Join me. And my quarters this night. Land on my disc. You guys are really close. Then came back and I ain't no quitter. Even if at this point in time, I thought wobble was stupid and basically a dice roll. And if you got anywhere near normal form, it's gonna be normal. I'm, I was so frustrated at this point that we're throwing more and more shots in the darkness of night. <laughs> okay. So that we can try to grasp some understanding of what this metric is. We didn't. And no additional understanding of what the metric is, except it feels totally random. And we say, you know what? Uh, we don't think that this is important enough for us to really spend another couple hundred hours on our own. So we're tossing it out to you guys. Uh, we know you got tech disc because we've seen the, you guys using the link. Thank you, first off. Uh, second off, it's time to put in the work and let's crowdsource finding out the solution to what is wobble and how do we reduce it as much as possible. Here is kind of a head start 
on the things that we discovered. One, the only way that we could really manipulate getting the wobble way worse was if I actually took my thumb off of the disc or if I used, how do you do this, bone pain grip, we could get wobble high, about 11 degrees high. Nine point eight degrees of wobble. Whoa. That's it. And it goes up, it goes between eight and about eleven point six. Um, so we figured, oh, this just has to be some kind of natural consequence of the disc ripping out. And if you don't have a firm enough grip, higher wobble. But again, eleven degrees of wobble, literally no thumb. Second, has Absolutely nothing to do with form. We tried every iteration we could possibly try. I tried uh, a disco, I tried rounding, I tried normal form, I tried deep pocket, shallow pocket, we tried everything. Doesn't matter. If you have anywhere near what a clean release is, you got some minimal amount of wobble. Three, every time the disc fell out of my hand where it feel like, man, I just did not have a good enough grip on this thing, to resist the tug and pivot around and it just felt like oh that came out early it was less than one not a good pivot not a good rip out of the hand less wobble four gonna trigger people with how i show four yeah <laughs> that's messed up <laughs> yeah four speed doesn't matter you can throw faster get wobble you can throw slower get wobble if you go to a certain slow speed increases wobble marginally Fifth, for some reason, Thomas Gilbert, he gets between 0.6 and 1.6 wobble on his three throws that are in the system. I tried replicating his form to see if there's anything there. No clue. For some reason, okay, I can do it. Yeah. Of course. Of course I can. I've got great proprioception. Uh, 3.5. 2.4 degrees of level. That's, that's not, that's in the range. Thomas Gilbert has it figured out. And you know, that guy's everywhere. He's probably watching this video right now. So Thomas, please just help us put this to rest. If you have the information here, I, I, please. That's basically it. I thought it could just be the fact that you got more meat on your fingers releasing this than somebody else does. It, I got no clue. So we're calling every man, woman, child, seriously, get them all in here, make it happen. I hope you enjoyed watching this very non-educational video. And if you are someone who really thinks that you can figure this out, well, uh, put your money where your mouth is at, buy a tech disc and prove us wrong. Prove it, prove it to us <laughs> and use our link. That. That's a win-win for us, honestly, and probably for you if you figure it out. Um, all right. Bye.